Hey guys, it's Miss Philly. I am just coming from the place that I got my uh, Cat Goose jacket dried, uh, dry cleaned. And so I got it back and you can see right here, I don't know if you can see that. It's there. The, this is the only part where some of the dye um, transferred. And then there's a spot on the back of the coat, like one little spot on the back where there's like a, either from a, from a toggle or something, there's a spot there too that wasn't there when we dry cleaned, uh, brought it to the dry cleaners. So to give you guys a more close up view of what Perths did to my jacket. I guess this dye here bled through right there. And on the other side, there's that little spot. I mean, otherwise it's pretty clean. Um, we completely cleaned this. All the yellowness is all gone. That was the only issue with this jacket was that yellowness. Um, the hood is super fluffy and nice actually. Like, look at that. The hood looks really good. This is an authentic jacket. I'm just disappointed that Perth's, I don't know if it's their fault or if it's a defect from Canada Goose itself. But right now my option is, is that they want me to send pictures and then they'll determine whether or not they'll, it's covered under warranty. And what the hell happened to the, the hologram is gone. What the hell? The hologram fell off. There used to be a hologram there, now it's gone. Oh my God, what the hell? That's effed up. <sighs> um, okay, that's not the only issue that I have right now. Now they're saying that I didn't pay. And I'm like, I did pay. I remember paying like $22 or $26 before I, I came. And I paid cash, I remember, because I only paid cash. And then she's, she's like, well, it's not in our system that it was paid. I'm like, it was the Asian girl that was working here. And she's like, well, we don't take, take prepayment. I'm like, then why did you take my cash? I remember paying them 26 something. And I thought my slip was the receipt, but when I looked at it, there's no amount there that's saying that it's uh, whatever, that it was paid. I just literally have been having problems with this. I don't even know if it's like a dry cleaner's fault. Now, now that they're saying that I didn't pay, I mean, I know I pay, I'm not an idiot. I know that I paid them $26. And she's like, and I'm like, why would I lie about that? She's like, I'm not saying that you're lying. I'm like, basically you are saying that I'm lying if you're saying I didn't pay. I know that I paid. <laughs> Ugh. And the, and the thing is, too, is I don't have a receipt for it because all she gave me was like a brown slip and that's all I have is this brown slip. Right here. All I have is that brown slip and it doesn't say, it doesn't say that it was paid, but I know that I paid. So, and I sent it in on, on October 12th. It's now October 29th. Like, <sighs> Like, is this what dry cleaning is, is about? Because, I don't know. Maybe I don't want to buy clothes that need to be dry cleaned. It's just annoying now, though. Now, number one, they ruined my jacket. Like, even if they followed protocol, who knows? Number two, now they're saying I didn't pay. <sighs> it's quite, quite annoying, actually. Um, but yeah, so the next step I'm going to do is actually send this off. Like, take pictures. And then I have to... Um, send it off to Canada Goose and then they will uh, notify me what the next step is. They'll either approve it or deny it. And then after that, if they deny it and say it's a dry cleaning defect, then I'll have to contact Perth's and let them know and see what we go through there because right now it's just ugh, a big ordeal. And it's just going over this jacket, over this jacket that I camped outside for, for like two hours to get. <sighs> Let's see how the inside of it looks. Well, at least this part is clean. Like the tracking, like the, the interior flap. At least that's clean, I can see. Oh. Anyway, guys, that's the update on the Canada Goose jacket. Um, I'll have to wait tomorrow and see what they say because there's, right now they're saying I didn't pay and I know I paid, so... Ugh, so annoying. What, do we have to record everything that we do so that we have proof now? Like, you're a business. Like how, she said that, she said that the other person who took my money says they know not to take prepayment. So why did she take prepayment if they, she knows that we're not supposed to take prepayment? Okay guys, I need to chillax, which I probably won't be able to chillax because freaking 
all the dust and whatever has been aggravating me so much lately. But we have to thrift. It's part of the job. Let's get it done. Let's take our mind off of that damn Canada Goose jacket. That has been nothing but stress for the past week. <sighs> I hope I can resolve it because I'm so not in the mood. So Value Village has that new policy. Hey guys, Miss Philly here. Okay, did you guys see that policy that they put on the front door now about filming? Don't film customers or people who work here without their permission. Really stupid, stupid policy. Like, what do you think this is, 1998? Like, do you, like, like if your staff doesn't want to be filmed, then maybe they should stay home. Maybe they should work from home. Maybe they should do some internet job instead of being out in public, okay? This is 2018. It's like a given that everything is being filmed. My, a lot of people might, might agree with it, but the fact of the matter is, that's how society is nowadays if you want to if you don't want to be filmed then keep your ass at home i've been having like i'm still sick and my kind of goose issues and ugh, ugh, so annoying like <laughs> whatever i don't i don't really care i'm not i'm not going to to be told when it comes to to value village because like you guys know that i applied to be like a partner with it hi <laughs> Okay, I applied to be like a partner uh, or like a sponsorship with them and they decided not to go with me or whatever. That guy's like crazy over there. Like, go back. Hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, let's get into the haul about what we got. We, we picked up a couple of stuff from Value Village. Uh, okay, right there. So the first thing that we got was this uh, pink kind of uh, sweater. That's what we got. And these retail for like 60 bucks at Victoria's Secret at Polo Park. And we got it for $15 minus 30% plus tax. It's in like really good condition overall. Um, I picked it up for myself because it is a large. Um, see, like that guy over there, hi. <laughs> that guy over there loves to be filmed. See, not a lot of people are anal about it, okay? I don't know. I think, like, to be honest, I think it's the folk and the young. I'm not even gonna front about about that. I'm, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it out loud. That's what I because those are the people that I've had issues with at Valley Village. I've never had issues with the, from my experience anyway. Anyway, that's what we got for myself to keep. I, I'm not actually. I'm, I don't know. Man. Um, so we picked up this Columbia jacket. This one is a woman's extra large, very desirable color, size, and um, because it doesn't, it has the interior fleece already. It's not like a light jacket. It's specifically a a uh, winter jacket. We picked this up for twenty dollars minus thirty percent plus tax. Again, this will net me about I think like sixty dollars at least. And the last thing that we got, which was exciting, it was just standing there or hanging there, is this TNA jacket. It was $20. This retails for $275 plus tax. It's the Raven Parka, I think it's called. So it's longer. It's a size medium. It's an excellent condition. Like everything is perfect on it. You can't, and it was $20 and it has a TNA on the hoodie there. And also insert a picture here of what it looks like. That's what color. Mine's black, but this one, like it looks super chic on. And it's so comfortable and warm. I think it's, I don't know if it's downfill. I don't think it is. But it's so nice and so soft. This will be totally, totally warm for the winter. And I love that the hoodie is like, kind of like that. So yeah, we picked those up. Um, let's go to a, another Value Village and see what's up there. I'm just not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. You know, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> First my jacket, and I'm still sick. I miss Philly is not in the motherfucking mood. Whatever, I don't care. Oh, and also, oh, the fact that I gained weight. I'm not even gonna front with you guys. I'm back to 300 pounds. I know, I know. I don't know if you've noticed in my videos. I've noticed in my videos me slowly ballooning back up. But I went back to literally. I went down. Okay, for when I started working out, December 2016. 
Then having that break around March 2017 till about August 2017, but then working out again hardcore starting August 2017 till like May of this year, 2018, I went from 384 pounds down to 275 pounds, and now I'm back up to 300 pounds. I know, and the thing is, it's... it's no one to blame but myself and i'm not you know i'm not looking for any kind of sympathy i'm not looking for any kind of praise oh you did so good you, you you're still under you're still you blah 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 you know i get that but i have no one to blame but myself the fact of the matter is i've been so busy with like vlogging working thrifting editing posting i just have not had time to work out like i'll try to have time like the thing is if it's important you'll make time i just i didn't prioritize it as on top of my list and by the time I was done doing everything on my list I was just too tired to work out and that's the fact and the fact I've been eating so much crap like fried foods pierogies fries chicken things and fast food it's just today I started again on you know being better because the thing is you it sounds so cliche but you know you only have one body you have one body you need to take care of it and your time on earth here is so limited to me i've just i haven't i haven't i felt like i've ha i haven't started i haven't start i have not start ooh, how am i trying to say this i haven't started living yet is what i'm trying to say because i don't think that i'm going to start living my life fully and potential and to my extreme potential until i am comfortable with myself and confident in myself and walking those streets like i own them you can do that now but and i can do that now but the thing is i'm i would just be fooling myself you have to love yourself truly in order to do that and at this moment i don't but you know like i've said multiple times in the past there's times where you're going to fail and there's times where you're going to just fall off the wagon and you just have to dust yourself off pick yourself up and just keep going and keep trying because that's really all that you can do and that's what i did today and i did I haven't really worked out literally in like maybe a month, like a month. It's so bad. And, you know, I can feel my, the thing is when, when you're a big person, you can start feeling when you're gaining weight because your joints start to hurt, your feet start to hurt like you. And the thing is they don't hurt as much as they did when I was 384 pounds, but I can feel it. When I was like 280, 275, I would just, you know, get up, no, feel, you know, feel no pain or no stress on any joints or my feet or anything like that. But now I'm feeling it again. And I'm, and, and I don't want to go back to where I'm diabetic again, because that's like not good for your health, obviously. But um, with that being said, today I've kind of um, started again. I've started eating healthy again. I had like avocado and eggs for lunch. I had eggs and, um, um, sliced uh, lean ham for breakfast. I had some chicken adobo with a little bit of uh, rice for a snack and I'm gonna have like a really healthy dinner. So yeah, um, I just have to, it's, it's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. It's all in the will. It's all in the determination. It's all in the want. If you really want it that bad, you'll make it happen. And you know, the thing with me is that I see results and I was starting to see results a lot. But then when I see results and I hit a a plateau I feel like I feel less motivated I feel like okay I got here now maybe I can you know relax a little bit maybe I can take a rest maybe I can you know slack a bit but no no that's not how it works if you want to get to your goal you can't do that and obviously it's a lesson I've learned now so I can't really give into temptation and I can't I have to be strict you have you can't be strict to the point where it's like you know um what's that word Carl Carl when you're not giving it to yourself I forgot what that word is called when you're not divulging it's um you're restricting your and it's it's, it's kind of like restricting but I'll use that word restricting yourself from from things that's not at all what I'm going to do I'm still going to have my cheat meals and you know but also like in moderation because the thing is with me I'm not a moderation gal I'm like a gluttony maximized overindulgent kind of gal so it's hard sometimes to kind of like minimize portions and you know things like that but yeah anyway we'll go to, over to the next value village Ugh. 
pet mina value village you're kind of annoying me now i love some of the workers like don't get me wrong but putting up that sign just put a bad taste in my mouth now it's their rules it's their store they can do whatever the fuck they want to do so and thomas philly is a partner with value village which right now you can kiss my ass <laughs> but until then um yeah we're just gonna play by their rules because it's really the best place to go when it's thrifting like i ain't i'm not going to take that from value village value village is the best place to go for thrifting especially when you have your discount codes and your discount coupons and your donation cards definitely definitely utilize those to go to value village because in the end it's they're still the best place to go thrifting at whatever <laughs> okay guys we are at value village no value fuck, fuck you value village we're at salvation army on uh empress we're gonna go inside i don't know if i'm gonna film i'm just not in the mood to film inside anymore just maybe bits and snippets just because i'm so annoyed with people i hate people so much i don't know why people are fucking annoying me so much that's why i'm such an introvert and i don't just don't like the all i need is freaking a hot sexy man who's obsessed with me that i can spend my time with and make love to cook dinner for go travel with and then if everyone else can like fuck off because people have been annoying me lately and just oh <sighs> let's go inside sorry for the negativity but you know what anybody who's not negative at least some part some point in their life is not real and i'm real so whatever fake as hell <laughs> This magnet for seven bucks, which is actually really good, but that style doesn't really sell for me. Okay, guys, today has been so freaking annoying. I didn't even want to leave my house because I'm not even like completely healed or like feel better. Oh my god, I think I want to go to Bianca's actually. See what they have there. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Bianca's. No, anyway, I just went to Starbucks to get their tomato panini tomato mozzarella panini but they're out so i had to settle for the chicken which means more calories motherfucker <laughs> at least i got myself a free starbucks water so until then there was like it was like filtered like beyond um yeah i think we're gonna go to here okay so i picked up a couple of things from value village here um nothing like major i got like a toaster because our toaster broke um at home so we need a new toaster and then i picked up these plant stands that are so vintage and so cute but i think they were painted because underneath it was like it was um like a teal color and then on top it was like a green color so i don't know what's up with that but regardless i thought it was super cute and i think we're gonna keep those possibly resell but we're gonna go to bianca's and see if they have anything here I actually need a new cord because my cord for my iPhone broke in my car. I tugged it and it totally like snapped off. Anyway, let's go inside. Not gonna film inside though. So I didn't find anything at Bianca's. Nothing was really cute. Whatever. I'm gonna eat my Starbucks panini.
I eat super fast, okay? I'm actually trying to eat slow, just so people don't comment like, Bitch, you eat so fast. <laughs> I guess I'm going to end this video. Don't forget to remain positive, progressive, and productive. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.